Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Gaza G. A successor to the Gaza line, its basic form is taken from the Gaza D and it uses a lot of the older Gaza production lines, making it a easy to use and manufacture unit. Also, it used a, an improved version of uh, the Hyzax control system. So it's an interesting kind of clash, and of course, it appears in Mobile Suit Gundam Moon Gundam, or Moon Gundam if you prefer. In game, it's a 500 cost, and I believe up, ground and space capable general, which does not have the baseline stuff set. So with a ballistic resistance of 16, a beam resistance of 18, a melee strength, a melee resistance of 20, a range strength of 18, a melee strength of a surprising 32. This unit can definitely scrap. A movement speed of 135 and a frust gauge of a very suitable 75. For parts, we got close range of 16, medium of 13, and long range of 7. And let's see for equipment. Now, it does have a slight variation depending on if it's transformed or not transformed. In its mobile suit form, we get the Gaza G Knuckle Buster, which behaves a lot like the uh, the main weapon of the Gaza C and D. It's just ammo based. It has decent range, decent power. It can't be changed out for anything. We got the Gaza G Beam Sabers times two. When you want one Nerf stick, well, why not two? And then we have the missile launcher type times two incendiary. It hits the target for a reasonably low amount of damage, but does tick damage over time. And of course, we got the sealant launcher, which is just kind of annoying people by spraying them with a white sticky substance. In transformed mode, what we get in addition is a linked head mounted Vulcan and the missile launcher times two chain explosion effectively kind of creates this, a pool of explosive explosions that can kind of annoy people my only real gripe with this unit is i believe those two weapon systems should be available normally or at the very least the other missile launcher but that's a personal gripe it per performs just as well out regardless so for skills, we have Emergency Evasion System, Leg Shock Absorber, Level 3, Flight Control Program, Level 3, Fall Prevention System, Glide Structure, Level 4, High Performance Balancers, High Spec Ambeck, Level 2, Melee Combo Controller, Forced Injector, Level 2, always nice in my opinion, Special Shoulder Buffer, Level 2, because it has gigantic shoulders so they're going to get hit a lot so this is actually quite useful though i think it might you be good to have it bumped up to three eventually special back add-on buffer level two high performance radar and of course it transforms outside of that my opinion of the unit is this i think it's probably one of the best Gazas in the game. It's got a strong uh, equipment loadout. It's pretty tough. And I don't know. I, there's just something about it that feels very natural once you've played it for a little bit. So I think if you're looking for a Gaza to carry you into the higher levels, I think this is probably the best one you can pick. So thumbs up on the Gaza Brotherhood, I guess. Let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello, and welcome to the match, everybody. This is a real G of a Gaza, and um, it's quite an interesting little revision to the line, and I kind of like it, to be honest. Um, but I like the original Gaza, so this is a nice little side note. Even though I don't really know much about uh, Moon Gundam. So, this is uh, one of those matches that I thought was going to be a little bit more lopsided on our side. Because it's two raids, two supports, and then me! So, I'm switching over to the uh, the flame missile launchers, which is called that. And I'm going to do a little bit of poking with them. 
nothing serious, but you can see they tick for about 150 damage for maybe 5-10 seconds. And uh, yeah, they're not that great, but I'm going to swing around and I'm going to face this guy. I'm going to open up with our knuckle buster, drop some sealant on him because everybody likes getting splooshed with sticky white substances. And we're going to do a little bit of pursuing. Now, I wasn't exactly sure how to uh, play the unit yet, so I'm kind of poking at him at range for the moment. I didn't realize this was more of a melee focus, too, but... Look at that damage as I get punched in the face by my team member. Always fun. Uh, I'm going to get hit a lot by my team in this match, so you know, watch out for that. Watch out for snakes. Uh, we're going to get our first kill, Shazam. going to uh, get shot in the back, but hey, you know, if you can get that damage in, go for it. And we're going to jump in with some melee. Now, this should perform really, really well. Um, in my opinion, uh, we're going to go ahead and just take that kill. Come on over. And uh, we're going to zip over to the side, try to distract him. Fire, miss, but the team's going to uh, jump him like it's uh, money day. Who knows? But uh, the unit's pretty quick. It's very responsive. It's got a decent weapon loadout, even though I kind of wish some of the uh, options were... Uh, more universal, like the other missiles were available in the uh, MS mode. You can get hit again one time. I'm putting those uh, flame missiles to some pretty good use for just being annoying as I catch the uh, the Hazel Advanced. Uh, I forget the name of that one. But you're going to see the kind of damage you can do with the melee on this unit. As, uh, I'm going to be bouncing around and just pushing on people and then uh, trying to get as clear as I can from their attacks as we take down another guy, get lost in the exchange there, and we'll come in and almost finish off the uh, GM Custom, I believe. Uh, throw some more damage there. That's the support. I'm going to switch over here and try to uh, help my team push. And we're going to wait. Shift over here. Um, he's going to get taken out. And then we're just going to push on uh, this unfortunate uh, armor, full armored Gundam. Ah, jeez. The unit is really, really fast, I gotta say. Um, and it reloads pretty quick, as you can see with some of the weapons. Um, it is kind of a switch hitter, in my opinion. Um, you can go from um, using its weapons to either pick at someone, push them or uh, use it as a way to kind of get yourself into uh, some melee combat. So we're going to unload some of that good old melee damage on this poor Hazel. Get shot in our back. And, um, yeah, this unit does team up really, really well with supports, in my opinion. Um, it can hold its own while at the same time being really really good for team ups so we're gonna uh, push a little bit but we're gonna keep getting staggered a bit come in i'm gonna try to make sure i don't get hit by my own uh, supports downswing and uh, we're gonna move over here now, i haven't done a lot of transforming in this unit so it's not that different from a normal gaza it just has um vulcans and the explosive missiles or the repeat multi-explosive missiles. I don't know what to call them. I call them like new palm launchers. We're gonna catch that hazel on the toes, and then press him with the missiles, catch him again with the, uh, the knuckle buster. And we're gonna use this as a way to basically get in on him because that hazel custom can be quite unique. Come in, finish him off, not get down swung by our uh, support. And we're gonna throw some fire down there, get another kill. And uh, I'd say the unit's fairly well balanced. I'm guessing the other two weapons aren't on it simply because it might actually tip the scales too much. But it wouldn't be bad to have at least the Vulcans as an option. So we saw that this base bombing was going on. So I'm going to come in and back up my dude here. I'm going to come in do a little bit of that melee goodness. Get down swung by the support again. This is going to become normal <laughs> at this point. 
And uh, we're just going to come in, finish him off with a swing, and then we're going to shift back to our team. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of escorting our support, even though I don't really think he needs that much of support, and reload our uh, missiles. And I do like the design of this actually a little bit more than the traditional uh, Gaza. So there we go, transforming. We're going to switch over our weapons. But we don't really have any good targets at the moment. We're going to see this guy hit him with multi-explosive missiles. And just zip on past, transform, and then come back on him. Um, miss with our shot, and then throw some missiles down range as we keep pressing him. Um, the unit's really good as an aggressor. I'd say it's less good in terms of being a defensive unit, at least in my experience so far. Uh, our team's going to come in, so I'm going to try really hard not to get anybody and get downswung by our support, who is very downswing happy. Um, from a design perspective, as a we go ahead and take him out, and now we're going to fish out the um, the pilot with the uh, <laughs> the flame uh, missiles. Kind of a, a cool thing to do, but whatever. I will say I like a little bit more of the uh, the jagged edges on this unit's design. Um, so at this point, we got someone that's bombing their base. I'm feeling kind of bad about the score, and um, I'm just going to push on this guy hoping that he'll he'll mix it up with me a little bit catch him with the uh, the swings and we're gonna you can do uh, that's how quickly I was able to do about 6k damage if not a little bit more than that and we got the uh, camper we're gonna back off here use our buster to catch him hit him with a couple melee swings get hit uh, I'm not sure if he got hit by one of our own guys but get hit and uh, not be able to uh, cap him off but we did some pretty good damage. And we're going to transform in the last couple seconds here. Throw some of that down there. And unfortunately I slowed down and got myself killed. But you know what? They deserve to get that kill at that point. There's a victory pose. One hell of a gun. We've got three board spots. And first place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.